name is Kaylee, and in this video we're going to take a look at the 7,000 year old boats who were discovered in the Mediterranean Sea that reveal quite the advanced seafaring technology. This video is sponsored by NordVPN, but as always, more on the sponsor later in the video. As most of you will know, a lot of the important civilizations in Europe originated on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea, and boats have been used to carry people in the Mediterranean Sea for many thousands of years. In fact, it seems that people have been navigating the Mediterranean on sophisticated boats for more than 7,000 years. It's difficult to find the remnants of their technological prowess, as these boats have been submerged in lakes, seas, lagoons, or buried in soggy peat bogs. As you can imagine, those aren't the ideal circumstances to discover and therefore recover these ancient vessels. But that doesn't mean that we don't find them and excavate them so we can study them, because we do find them, and we will excavate them, and we definitely will study them. So today I want to talk to you about something really important, staying safe online with NordVPN. I wanted to dive deeper into why NordVPN is essential in protecting you from online threats. So let's talk about some of the most common cybersecurity threats out there. From man-in-the-middle attacks to phishing scams, hackers are always finding new ways to compromise your data. But with NordVPN, you can encrypt your online traffic with just a single click, keeping those cybercriminals at bay. You've heard me talk about how NordVPN unlocks content from around the globe, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. So picture this, I'm working on this really important project from my local cafe, and I need to access public Wi-Fi. That would usually make me really anxious, because my data could be exposed to hackers. But NordVPN has got me covered. It hides my online connection and all the data flowing through it whenever I use it. Plus, with threat protection, I'm shielded from all the malicious and intrusive ads, pop-up ads, or harmful links. With NordVPN, I just know that everything that I'm doing is totally protected. Plus, with 24-7 customer support and a 30-day money-back guarantee, you can try NordVPN risk-free. So, if you want to browse the internet safely and securely, click the link in the description to get started with NordVPN today. Don't let cyber threats ruin your online experience. Take control with NordVPN. A team of archaeologists from the Spanish National Research Council in Barcelona studied five intricately crafted boats, or canoes, if you will, who were discovered in previous excavations at the Neolithic lakeshore settlement of La Marmota, which is located in the region of Lazio, about 32 kilometers northwest in the city of Rome in Italy. The Neolithic settlement of La Marmota was initially discovered by archaeologists in 1989, while it was submerged 8 meters, which equates to roughly 25 feet, beneath the surface of Lake Bracciano. Lake Bracciano is connected to the Mediterranean Sea by the river Aron. At least back then it was. So the settlement of La Marmota was excavated between 1992 and 2006, and another excavation took place in 2009. This settlement has been exceptionally well preserved by mud and water. The archaeologists discovered an enormous collection of wooden tools used to weave textiles, fibrous baskets for carrying food, and five dugout canoes. These canoes date back to between 5700 BCE and 5100 BCE, which actually means that these are the oldest boats discovered in the Mediterranean Sea up until now. La Marmota seems to have been a thriving farming community and was most likely an important trading hub given its location close to the Mediterranean coast. For at least four centuries, the people at the La Marmota settlement were thriving before they abandoned their homes suddenly and mysteriously. Thankfully, the remnants of their settlement have been very well preserved, and now we have tangible evidence of a community who started to farm on the edge of a vast wilderness. 
The first of the five boats was discovered at the end of the excavation season in 1993, when using a suction hose to vacuum up the mud, one of the divers spotted a piece of wood that was much larger than a post or a roof timber. It took the researcher several months of careful vacuuming in 1994, and eventually the more than 11 meter, which equates to 36 feet, long canoe emerged from the mud. This canoe was carved from a single massive oak trunk. There were stripes of oaks at intervals along the floor of the boat that must have acted as ribs to strengthen and stabilize the canoe. Three trapezoidal blocks of wood with holes pierced in them were found inserted into the wall of the canoe at evenly spaced distances. These may have been used to fasten sails or ropes. There was no doubt in the minds of the researchers that the canoe was not just lake-worthy, but that it was perfectly sea-worthy. The other four discovered canoes were a bit smaller, ranging between 4 and 9.5 meters, which equates roughly to between 13 and 31 feet. Two of these canoes were made of alder wood, one was made of poplar, and one was made of beech. And all these canoes had crossbeams to reinforce the hull. The builders of these canoes must have been people who knew how to choose the best trees, how to cut the trunk and hollow it by burning out its middle, and how to stabilize the dugout with transversal reinforcements on its base, or perhaps even by the use of side poles or even parallel canoes in the form of a catamaran. This would have provided greater safety and stability and greater capacity for the transport of people, animals and goods. Knowing that similar features are being used in more recent nautical technologies, the researchers suspect that many major advances in sailing must have been made during the early Neolithic period. There is a possibility that more canoes may be preserved much deeper in the mud of Lake Bracciano, as it's estimated that only one-fourth of the site has been excavated so far. However, there are no tangible pieces of evidence that could explain why La Marmota was suddenly abandoned somewhere after 5200 BCE. The researchers have suggested that the sudden rise of the water may have made the inhabitants leave hastily, which could explain why so many objects were left behind. As I mentioned earlier, the dating of these canoes revealed them to be the oldest discovered boats in the Mediterranean up until now. And these canoes offer invaluable insights into the Neolithic navigating and seafaring technologies. The builders of these boats were technological, advanced and sophisticated, and these canoes highlight their woodworking skills and their amazing construction skills of complex vessels. So what do you think of this discovery? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to click the link in the description down below to get started with NordVPN today. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like to see more of these kind of videos, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, or click one of the links in the description down below, or click a video in the end card. Um, I would also like to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me. It truly means the world to me. And uh, yeah, with that said, I'll see you in the next video.